Welcome back. So Pittsfield, Massachusetts may or may not be the birthplace of baseball, but there's no question the game lives as strong as ever there. Historic Wakona Park and the Pittsfield Dukes are evidence of the town's enduring love of the game. Wakona Park um, has quite the history to it. Quite a few big names who have played here. Uh, Ted Williams. Lou Gehrig hitting a home run into the lake in 1924. Um, I wish I could find that ball in the lake. Don Orsillo got a start up in the press box with the Pittsfield Mets. Wakona Park was built in 1892 and is recognized by the National Register of Historic Places. Like Fenway, it has distinctive character. It just has a very rustic feel. You know, it kind of brings everything back to uh, how baseball should be about the game. A certain time during the game, we start our games at 7 o'clock. Say around 7.30, the sun starts coming down. So when you're hitting, it's right in your eyes. So occasionally they have to have a sun delay and you have to stop the game for 20 minutes sometimes. The Pittsfield Dukes are Wakona Park's current tenants. We're part of the NECBL, which is the New England Collegiate Baseball League. Uh, college Wood Bat League, and the players come from all over the country. You know, it's just kids out here, you know, that love the game. I mean, probably some of these kids will move on to the major leagues, and we hope they do. But at this level, you know, they're still trying to improve themselves and trying to take it to the next step. So, I mean, right now it's still about love of the game and, you know, just going out there playing baseball and having fun. But this is where it all starts. This is where they are recognized. I think they represent a, a ray of hope to the youth, that are, for the people that are younger than them, that they can aspire to play. They're just a continuation of the heritage of baseball in Pittsfield. Pittsfield has been playing baseball for years, and, you know, we want to keep that tradition alive. And while the game of the art of the game is on display at Wakona Park, the art is celebrated throughout Pittsfield's downtown. The goal of the two-year project is to raise enough money to establish a monument dedicated to baseball's heritage and evolution. You really don't know what a first home plate was. I mean, again, the first mention of baseball, 1791, what did they use for a home plate or did they have a home plate? We don't know. We look at it as the first home plate. Again, it's a metaphor. And in doing that, we wanted to have these characters uh, who are like the spirit of baseball, who are characters of the game, and let them be the guardians and protectors of the sacred home play. We set out with making something simple. And in its simplistic state, we said, well, let's name them bat, ball, and glove, and names that are synonymous with baseball. And we named them characters of the game. We want them to be in 1791 attire, or 1790s attire, but carrying modern day equipment. So that's the evolution of the game, showing that yeah, it's symbolic of the game's evolution. So it's, you know, it's glorious past to its present, and it's, I like to say, very bright future. The proposed location of Pittsfield's memorial is the city center, where the former Bullfinch Meeting House once stood. That's the meeting house mentioned in the bylaw from 1791. It does not only give the recognition to its Garden of Eden here in Pittsfield, but we're also trying to connect to the youth all over, outside of Pittsfield, all over, looking at what baseball is and still is and always will be. The timeline of baseball in Pittsfield is continuous. It runs from the documented mention of baseball in 1791 to the first intercollegiate baseball game in 1859 between Williams and Amherst to Pittsfield native Frank Grant, who was inducted into baseball's Hall of Fame in 2006. According to the Hall, Grant is regarded as the greatest African-American player of the 19th century. The history is great here for baseball, and there's a lot of, there's a lot of roots here for, for baseball. But I think the beauty of why people indulge in the history of baseball is because it reminds them of the nation that they once were. The true meaning of the 1791 find, that for old America, which is New England, and its grand old game, baseball, one that grew up alongside the nation, the future might lie in the past. So where did baseball begin? We may never know, but since 1791, Pittsfield, Massachusetts has acknowledged, then celebrated its existence. So for now, this is baseball's Garden of Eden. Wow, what's the score? To find out more about Pittsfield's cultural baseball character, visit artgamepittsfield.org. Stay right there. We'll try to catch up with one of the Sox's most senior and most funky fans. I've been a Red Sox fan over 50 years. As Red Sox Stories continues.